Asian skincare is really known for incorporating naturally derived ingredients into products to help with skin benefits. So today, I want to talk about some trending K-beauty ingredients, the science behind how they work, and also share some of my personal favorites from each category. Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board-certified dermatologist, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're like me, who's also an Asian beauty fanatic, then I would love it if you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. When it comes to Asian beauty products, I really think of Korea being the leader in formulating innovative products and all areas, whether it's skincare, body care, hair care, or sunscreens. And they really take a focus on using naturally derived ingredients, whether it's plant derived predominantly or non-traditional ways of harvesting certain derivatives from animals that really minimizes harm to animals, like for example, snail mucin. And really harnessing those ingredients and formulating them in a more gentle way to target common skin concerns like wrinkles, acne, hyperpigmentation, sensitive skin, or rosacea prone skin. And really the focus of Korean skincare is a hydrated and healthy skin barrier. And that is really the core even going back to like the 10 step Korean skincare routine, the reason why there are so many steps is the emphasis on using multiple products to keep the skin hydrated and plump because really you can't address other skin concerns until your skin itself is healthy. So I really like their idea and their approach to skincare and tackling skin concerns. And I am definitely very fascinated by the use of natural ingredients, not just for skincare, but for overall health and treating certain health conditions. Being Chinese, even though I moved to the United States when I was really young, you know, traditional Chinese medicine is a big part of China Asian culture and now is making a huge impact worldwide. And there's definitely something to be said about the use of herbs and certain, you know, other concoctions that are naturally derived in treating medical conditions. You know, certainly I don't have all the access to Chinese literature, but has proven throughout time that they do work. And so that has been an area of fascination for me. And I take a very similar approach when it comes to, you know, evaluating and trying out Asian derived skincare products as well. And I do feel like there, there may be this understated sentiment that using, you know, naturally derived ingredients may make one feel more comfortable. Now, having said that, I am not saying that they're better. In fact, I think both both naturally derived and synthetically made ingredients have their value, right? As a dermatologist, what I care about most is the evidence, the science. And honestly, what we know from a lot of these plant derived ingredients, there was an article that I read years ago about looking at eczema cream from plant derived ingredients in China. And when scientists actually went to isolate the plant bioactive compounds, they literally looked exactly in structure to corticosteroids that we make synthetically for treatment of eczema. And so that's probably how they work, right? It's just one is naturally derived and one we make synthetically after knowing what the compound is and making that in a lab laboratory setting. So I think both have value. It's just what you're interested in, in using and certainly what you enjoy using at the end of the day. Okay, let's actually get into the ingredients. First up I want to talk about is propolis. So propolis is a resinous material made by bees and mostly intended to provide structure and integrity to beehives. So the other term is called bee glue. Composition wise, it contains bioactive compounds that mostly act as anti-inflammatory and antioxidant ingredients and mostly shown in laboratory studies, which is the case for most of these ingredients. Uh, very few clinical studies that I'm able to access, not to say that they don't exist, but just what is published in English, I have limited access to. But in clinical studies, it's been shown to stimulate collagen, help with wound healing, reduce oxidative stress, and also reduce the amount of UVB damage on skin tissue cells. Now, when it comes to looking at these studies, um, what has been shown in laboratory setting, um, because of the lack of evidence in humans, it doesn't mean that it's not applicable, but we have to just take it with a little bit of grain of salt in the sense it may not always translate 100% because tissue cells in laboratory setting are not dynamic, but our human skin cells are very much dynamic. So I just want you guys to be aware that these benefits, even though they probably do exist, to what extent and how much we can't say for sure, because again, they're done on a cell in a dish and not on humans. Propolis also have other great humectants. So overall, propolis can be a great soothing anti-inflammatory 
antioxidant product and help with plumping and hydrating the skin. Two products I recommend, and both are actually serums that contain propolis as the dominant main ingredient. The first one is from Beauty of Josan, their Glow Serum that contains 60% propolis and 2% niacinamide. This is just a really nice, slightly thicker serum, but very lightweight, non-sticky, and leaves your skin very hydrated. Ingredient-wise, with the propolis and the niacinamide, I can see this being beneficial for number one, individuals who are suffering from hyperpigmentation on uneven skin tone. Niacinamide can be really helpful with that. And then the propolis, again, as I mentioned, can really help to hydrate, plump the skin. Just a really nice hydrating serum. Another one that I've talked about previously is from Skin Food. Their Royal Honey Propolis line that also comes with a moisturizer, but I am really obsessed with this serum for a couple reasons. Number one, it's very watery and lightweight. Again, leaves minimal residue on the skin, but yet is very hydrating. And it contains 63% propolis extract so again it's just like i envisioning it like a hydrating serum but to the next level with maybe some additional soothing anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits and this one i found it to be very gentle so even if you have sensitive skin i think this can definitely be appropriate especially if you're looking for one that can also offer some anti-inflammatory benefits um, this is one i highly recommend trying Next ingredient is snail mucin. So snail mucin is a secretion made by snails for protective mechanisms. And honestly, they make it when they are stressed. Really can't sugarcoat that, you know? But my understanding is for Korean brands, the way the secretions are harvested is in a way which basically does not harm the snails. But essentially, these are protective secretions the snails make and because of their mechanism and what they're intended to do, the bowel actives in the secretions have a wide range of benefits. Lots of different antioxidant, anti-inflammatory compounds, various different enzymes, amino acids, as well as glycaminoglycans. So lots of different humectants that really help to hydrate and plump the skin. So essentially, I think of snail mucin having a couple benefits. Number one, great hydrating the skin. Two, may help to stimulate collagen or at the very least improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and helping with smoothing skin texture. There have been actually few small randomized control trials like one with like 15 patients that was a double blinded randomized controlled using a snail mucin derived product for anti-aging purposes and certainly have been shown to help with reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I really definitely love snail mucin. If anything, for the hydrating properties. Product wise, I recommend, really can't talk about snail mucin without talking about Cosrx, right? That, those viral products. And I've definitely tried from the line, the essence, the moisturizer, as well as the eye cream and mask. And I have to say, I have not been disappointed. For me, it was definitely an experience, especially with the moisturizer, just I think getting over that kind of tackiness, the sliminess, and you know, I don't like obviously products that I can't cleanly scoop out with my hands because it does leave a little bit of string. But once you get over that, oh my God, I think honestly of all the products in this line, the moisturizer is by far my favorite. It is very, very slimy and gooey, but in a good way. And so, like I said, it's just a little messy when you're applying, but once you actually apply on your skin and let it absorb, it's very non-sticky, lightweight, and hydrating. So definitely a great moisturizer for, you know, if you have dry skin, sensitive skin, use it both morning and night. If you have more oily combination skin and you may not want something that hydrating and nourishing, this would be a great evening moisturizer. And so I really love this one and have used it both evening and night and have enjoyed both times when I've used it. For those of you who are not interested in a gooey, slimy moisturizer, but want to try a mucin product, then I recommend this Snail 96 uh, Essence. Again, that contains 96% snail secretion. So this one, when I think of essence, especially Asian-derived essences, I think of watery products. This one's definitely not that. Um, so it's definitely more viscous. Still slightly slimy, but I feel like because it comes in a pump, it's not as messy. But once you apply it, oh my gosh, it absorbs so nicely and quickly. And 
leaves no residue on your skin, but yet is very hydrating. So great for those, for all skin types, but especially if you have more like oily combination skin, get easily dehydrated, this would be a great product. I mean, with the texture and its viscosity, I almost treat it like a serum than an essence, truly. Um, but great one to use for all skin types, especially if you are more prone to dehydration. It layers very nicely, and if you do use a vitamin C serum in the morning that's more watery, I envision this would go after your vitamin C serum. But yeah, I treat it more like a hydrating serum than a true essence. It's a great one, really lightweight, really helps to plump the skin, one I highly recommend as well. Another brand I really like is from Mizan. Mizan is really well known and respected in Korea for also making snail secretion based products and their all-in-one snail repair cream is a great one that's not sticky, fragrance free, lightweight, fast absorbing, suitable for all skin types and it also contains 92% snail secretion. So you can certainly check that one out if you're looking for something that is less gooey, maybe easier to apply, that's lightweight to use. Next ingredient is Centella Asiatica and I really feel like this is one of the first K-beauty ingredients that became really popular here. Um, in North America. But Centella is also known as Sika or tiger grass because that is the plant that is derived from. And it's really known for its soothing and anti-inflammatory properties. Main bioactives in Centella includes Asiatic acid, metacasic acid, and few others. But these mainly have soothing and anti-inflammatory properties. However, Centella potentially could also help to reduce pigment formation helps to inhibit melanin synthesis, at least again in laboratory studies, and also has been shown to support and promote collagen synthesis, again, mostly in laboratory studies. Because it's been shown to stimulate fibroblast ability to produce collagen and improve neovascularization, so increasing more blood flow, blood vessel formation, it often is also used in wound healing, which is why, you know, in skincare, it has great properties for soothing the skin skin used commonly in products to help when the skin barrier is broken down. That's not so much like a wound, but in some ways helps to improve skin barrier strength, function, and integrity. And I feel like nowadays, Centella is almost like the Asian version of niacinamide where you pretty much find niacinamide in most of skincare products. You know, it may not always be called out as the active ingredient, but you can find it in various serums, moisturizers, sunscreens, so many different products. Um, and I feel the same way with Centella. Now, few products that actually highlight Centella as one of the active ingredients um, that I recommend is number one, the Pareto brand. Pareto actually have a whole line of Centella-based products. Majority of them are fragrance-free, really ideal for sensitive skin, calming, irritated skin, those with the rosacea, looking for a range of creams, berry repair creams, to serums that can be very helpful. And what I personally love is their unscented recover cream that contains 50% Centella Asiatica extract, along with 2% niacinamide that again can help to strengthen the skin barrier, is anti-inflammatory, may offer some improvement with uneven skin tone. Um, it's just a really all around hydrating, but yet lightweight cream that you can use, but offers good support. Like it's not like super lightweight where you feel like your skin still feels dry and tight afterwards with which if you do have dry skin, you may often get that feeling if you use like a gel moisturizer, for example. But this is really lightweight. It's not sticky. And I sometimes will use this as my moisturizer all over my face when my skin really is irritated. And I want just a moisturizer with some active ingredients that can help calm and uh, soothe the skin. You can also use this to spot treat areas that are really just irritated and, and acting up. Another serum, if looking for an actual brightening serum with Centella, is the one from Beauty of Jason. Their light on serum that contains Centella and vitamin C. And this vitamin C is an ethylated vitamin C, so a vitamin C derivative that has mostly brightening properties along with Centella um, that is, I think, 68% um, Centella extract. Again, another really nice creamy but hydrating serum, great to use for those who are looking for a brightening product that is more gentle to help even out uneven skin tone. Lastly, for those with rosacea or just struggle with kind of baseline rosiness of the cheeks, looking for something that is soothing, calming, but also offers some, some protective properties, but also most importantly, 
mask that redness i really recommend the second repair line from dr jart and this one comes in a few different products i have on hand it's the one that's in a dropper serum but it also comes in a jar that is a green tinted like a moisturizer and this one actually contains mineral based sunscreen so zinc oxide titanium dioxide um it's spf 35 and again contains centella but what i really like about this is the green tint that often can help to mask or at least reduce the redness and so the trick to using this is you don't want to use it alone as your sunscreen because it's just too much it's too rich so what you would do is you would apply your sunscreen first and then kind of just you know drop one to two drops on areas of concern after your sunscreen has been absorbed and then apply on the, those areas and once you massage it in the green really helps to offset the redness so really great for individuals that have more rosacea prone skin the next ingredient is mugwort or also known as artemisia which i believe is the name of the plant and this is another ancient herb that's commonly used in asia for again wound healing soothing anti-inflammatory properties and there's actually some literature on using this herb for treatment of inflammatory skin rashes like eczema and basically has been found to be helpful in soothing reducing itching redness um, associated with eczema and to be honest with you i actually have not tried too many products that contains a mugwort as one of the main highlighted active ingredients i know there's a whole line that's like i am mugwort and there's masks to moisturizers and i definitely would love to try them and if you want me to try and review them please let me know in the comments below but few products that i have tried that i really enjoy I highly recommend is actually a moisturizer that I talked gosh way back years ago in my really old video and it's from April Skin. It's an Armatesia Squalane Hydra Gel Cream Moisturizer. This is a really nice one because if you have oily skin prone to dehydration, combination skin prone to dehydration, but looking for something that's also lightweight and soothing, that's fast absorbing, that's great to use maybe in the summertime, this is one to try. Contains 80% mugwort extract along with vegan squalane and a really nice elegant formula that absorbs quickly. Like I said, gel cream. So better suited for more combination oily skin. It is also fragrance free, so certainly can be used by everyone, even those with more sensitive skin and rosacea prone skin. The other one is the Beauty of Jason Calming Serum that contains 50% green tea leaf extract and 30% mugwort extract. Again, just a really nice soothing calming serum that's also hydrating, a lightweight a non-sticky and so those are really the two products that i can think of upon just reviewing all the products i have tried that really contains mugwort as the active ingredients the last ingredient is tremella mushroom or snow fungus and i actually love this ingredient in food there's so many actual really delicious chinese asian based desserts as well as savory dishes you can make with tremella mushroom and it has a lot of great health benefits but skin wise one of the major benefits it has great humectant hydrating properties and some say even better than hyaluronic acid and also this has great antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties as well but when i think of tremella mushroom in skincare the thing, first thing i think about is just skin hydration skin plumping skin hydration skin plumping like hyaluronic acid like mugwort i have now tried a lot of products that have like snow mushroom is the active ingredient or highlighted ingredient i mean there aren't that many that i could find upon my research and looking through all the products i've tried i was able to hone in on three that i really could recommend for you guys but one that comes to mind instantly is not a korean brand which is also i think part of the challenges i really wanted to make recommendations for mostly korean based asian based brands that contain these ingredients but one that actually has really nice formulation really hydrating that highlights snow mushroom is one of the active ingredients is theirs their milky toner that comes in that creamy white bottle that contains hyaluronic acid and snow mushroom and it's just a really lightweight fast absorbing even though the name is a toner i actually 
love it as an essence where you apply and pat it onto your skin after cleansing and offers great hydrating properties. So that is definitely one worth thinking about or trying if you're looking for a product with snow mushroom as one of the active ingredients. But otherwise, products I really recommend that contains like tremella mushroom is just one of the ingredients to add benefits of hydration are number one, this is a moisturizer I've talked about a lot in the previous video I really love. It's from Peach and Lily. It's a peptide pro firming moisturizer that contains a blend of different peptides, antioxidants that really helps to improve appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So great moisturizer that's also rich and nourishing but not heavy and definitely contains tremella mushroom along with polyglutamic acid and other great humectants to help to plump the skin. So this is a good moisturizer if you're looking for something with anti-aging benefits highly recommend trying. Last product is actually from Laneige and it's the Cream Skin Serapeptide Toner and Moisturizer. So as the name implies, you can use this like a toner or as a lightweight moisturizer and it's the formulation is really fascinating because number one you it comes in a um like a cap that you can unscrew and pour out but i actually have it in this the spritz um nozzle because i actually like to spray it so how i use this is um after cleansing like say if i were to do some sort of treatment where my skin dries out and i want to spritz my face and dampen my face before i go and apply my serum to enhance absorption I would use this and really helps to instantly soften, hydrate, and also at the same time nourish my skin like a lightweight moisturizer without leaving residue. And this contains peptides, ceramides, along with green tea, and then tremella mushroom. So I really like this like as easy on the go spritz and moisturize but with the ingredients if you have really oily and combination skin this could certainly be like your moisturizer as well but yeah this is for me more of like a fun to use product i don't use too much of it and for me a little bit goes a long way all right guys so those are five ingredients that i thought was worth highlighting i mean there's so many more i just didn't want this video to be super long but definitely let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a part two and also what ingredients you want me to talk about i mean i could just even think of like off the top of my head when i was preparing for this video i would have loved to talk more about green tea rice licorice so many more so just definitely let me know in comments below and i'd be happy to make a part two thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time yeah.